Hi everybody, it's Jeff Smith here in the golf studio. And I thought I would just talk a little bit about how to start playing the game of golf if you're new to the game, right? So let's just say you need to learn how to hold on to this club so that you can stand athletically and smack into a golf ball and tell it where to go. So let's talk about some of the absolute bare bones basic things that have to happen, right? So let's start with how we touch the club. So I wanna put both hands on the club, obviously, but how? So I want to leave my hands in their most natural hanging positions. Just to start with, I want you to look at my, my left arm. It's my lead arm. It's the one that I'm going to first touch the club with, and it's hanging down here. And I didn't alter it. I didn't do anything. I just left it hanging there. I'm going to hold on to the club in that way, and in which case, I pick the club up, and the club is straight up and down. I didn't twist it. I didn't turn it either way. I just picked it up. So my natural arm hanging grip and that is, for me, as I look down, my index finger knuckle is pretty close to the top, and the thumb is pretty close to the side of the shaft. You know, and I'm holding onto this thing. I've got it in the base of my fingers on my left hand. That's a good solid. I've got a hold of this club, and I've got control on it. My right hand, let's just let it drop down and just put it right here on the back side of the shaft and close the fingers, right? So I just kind of moved it in. And interestingly enough, my thumb that's on the left side, of my left hand thumb's on the left side of the shaft here, on the right side of the shaft, it just fits right when I put my right hand on it, it just fits right over that left thumb. So it kind of fits together like two puzzle pieces. So there's the, the connection to the club. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my feet. Now, we've got to take a, a decent, solid athletic stance. So what I've got, I've got these great pro stance foot pads that tell me, you know, where I'm going to put my feet. So what I've done is I got my natural best position, which happens to be for me, my shoulders and my feet are all kind of lined up. I've got my feet just underneath them. And that's my best athletic stance. I can turn, I can twist, I can push, I can run, I can jump, I can do anything from that stance. So then I'm going to squat down just a little tiny bit, drop my knees, drop my rear end a little bit, you know, and then I'm going to stand here and bend over just, you know, from a side view, it would look like that. So I've tilted my chest down, dropped my arms a little bit, just so my arms are about touching my knees. So some basic, simple things. So, and, and I, as I say basic, I mean they're just the things that are not very complex. This is an athletic stance in, that you'll see in lots of sports that you'll, you'll notice. Short stops look like that. Um, you know, linebackers look like that. Somebody guarding someone else in basketball. Somebody getting ready to dive into a pool. You know, some of these things are all kind of similar. So I've got my grip. I've got my stance. Now I'm going to start to just swing the club back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and learning what my body's going to do. So I think I'll just hit a ball. All right, that seemed to go pretty well. So one of the things that I know that's important in golf, right, is to touch the club pretty much the same way every time. And you can check that. But then there's the standing in the same place about every time. So I've got these pro stance foot pads um, that I put on the ground here, and they've got little spikes on the bottom. So they, they hold it in place from swing to swing to swing. And so as I stand here on this, what I've got here is the ability to stand and do the same thing every time from the exact same stance width. That helps. So in this basic, here's what I'm going to do, these are helpful. Uh, and you can figure out where you need to put your feet. You just place them on the ground and you just step right on top. Your feet won't slip on them. And so it's just making swings. And so when you're looking to go and start with something and you want to be consistent, well, pick up some of those. Click the link below. Pick up some of those and, and it'll help. They're not very expensive, but boy, they're a whole lot helpful so that you can begin your golf journey and, and be very good at it right from the get-go.